Is your brother or your sister a good candidate to be your successor trustee or really even your personal administrator or executive for a last will and testament? In a recent video, I talked about how to pick a successor trustee. And really the bottom line is you have to find somebody, whether it is a relative, and that could be a brother, sister, or one of your children, or a CPA, attorney, or even a professional trust company. Whoever you pick, you have to have explicit trust in that person or entity to do what you want them to do and to follow the directions that you have in your trust, right? It makes sense. But the question since that video has come up and it goes like this, well, I want my brother or I want my sister to be my successor trustee. Do you think that's a good idea? It could be, and it's probably a really good idea depending on how old you are. So if you're in your 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s, a brother or sister probably is the perfect person to be your successor trustee if your spouse can't do it because you usually have your revocable living trust set up to take care of your children and you may want not want there to be fights between the children so you pick kind of an independent third party or third party family member to be the successor trustee over your trust the problem that happens is that as you age well so does your brother or sister right? If you're 50 years old right now, then your brother or sister are probably the perfect person to step into your shoes and take care of your affairs if it becomes necessary. But as you get older, if you're in your 80s or your 90s, your brother and sister may not be the right people to be in that role. They may not be comfortable with taking on that huge responsibility of having to deal with your finances, having to deal with your children, having to make distributions according to what you have in your revocable living trust centered estate plan. So what I tell people is, yes, a brother and sister are a fantastic choice if you trust them implicitly to do what you need them to do in your trust. However, as you get older, you need to have backups. Just like I tell you all the time that you need to meet with your estate planning attorney at least once a year to see if any changes need to be made to your revocable living trust centered estate plan. At that meeting, you should discuss with your estate planning attorney on whether or not your brother or sister or somebody who is your same age is still a good candidate to be your successor trustee. And if they're not, your estate planning attorney will help guide you in finding somebody who can step into that role who you can implicitly trust. And it might be another attorney, it could be a CPA, or like I have said many times, it could be a professional trust company if you have enough assets to hire them. Don't make the mistake of having your brother or sister be your successor trustee if they don't have good health or they're just as old as you and they may not want to make those decisions on your behalf just because they don't have to do them for themselves, why should they have to do them for you? I know I've thrown a lot at you today, so that's why we've prepared our free guide on estate planning. I'll put a link to it in the description below and in the comment section below that so that you can download it and get started in the right direction. And to help you out even more, watch this video up here and this video up here. If you enjoyed this video, then guys, please smash that subscribe button and click on the like button. And also click on that little bell so you'll get notified every time we post a new video. Have a great day and an awesome week. And as always, thanks for watching.